All right, let's discuss bottlenecks, uh, TOC, and also throughput margin analysis. Um, in short, I know that you guys can read, so make sure you do go through and read all of these slides again. Um, but knowing the definition of what a bottleneck is, is important. Um, basically, we'll just read this top part right here, but then I'm going to skip to talking about the book, The Goal. Um, but a bottleneck is a phenomenon where the performance or capacity of an entire system is limited by a single or limited number of components or resources. Right, so it can be a component in the process, or it could be the resources coming into the process, um, something to that effect. Let me give you an example that I'm hoping you guys can just visualize in your mind. Um, think of being at the Amnicola Coca-Cola plant where they're bottling um, gazillions of ounces of Coca-Cola on a daily basis. Imagine one of those um, automated lines where those bottles are snaking their way through the plant. And those bottles, let's just pretend that there's only one machine that can fill those bottles. And it can only pour in 16 ounces every five seconds. All right. In a day, that plant would be limited by the number of ounces in 24 hours that that machine can fill. That would be a bottleneck, all right? Go through here and read through the rest of that particular slide, um, but just understand what a bottleneck is. It is in the system, and we need to work around how to deal with the bottleneck. I mentioned to you guys earlier that there's a book um, which I'm going to take a second here and show you that this is what it looks like. It's called The Goal. Um, it is by Mr. Goldratt. And there are actually two or three other um, books that follow this one. I would definitely recommend reading all of them, starting with this one right here. Um, you guys can see that down here um, it has been a best-selling business novel. Uh, definitely recommended. There's a lot of MBA programs that uh, have their students read this in classes. Um, so I would recommend reading it. And it's not a hard book to read. He kind of writes it like it's, it's a story. Um, he's got characters, you know, different um, people within the plant facility, like, you know, the production manager, the purchasing manager, uh, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So he uses characters and he tells it like a story. So it's not um, a boring read and it's not hard to read either. It's not like reading some um, boring textbook. Um, so I definitely recommend that you read this. You can apply this not only to manufacturing facilities but also any company that provides a service. Okay, so I recommend that you guys do um, pick up a copy of that book. I'm sure you can't see it here. Um, how I've got the screen highlighted for my PowerPoint, but it is available on Amazon.com for $14.78. Uh, so I would recommend that you guys read that. But in that book, he's talking about the theory of constraints, um, which is basically um, working to deal with the bottleneck issue and how to go about maximizing um, the throughput, and therefore maximizing our operating income. All right, so there's this thing called throughput margin. And throughput margin equals revenues minus the direct material cost of the goods sold. All right, if you guys plan on taking uh, the CMA exam, I can assure you these are formulas that you would want to know. All right, so throughput margin, revenues minus direct materials, for cost of goods sold. There's also investments. And investments equal the sum of the material cost and the direct materials, work in process, and also finished goods inventories. Uh, any of our research and development costs that we've invested in. And then also investments in our uh, equipment and buildings, so property, plant, and equipment. These are all things that we've invested in, all right? So we could total those up. 
And then operating cost is the cost of all operations except for our direct materials. And these are our operating costs that help us to earn our throughput margin. Um, for example, salaries and wages, rent, utilities, and depreciation expense. These are all of our operating costs. Right? So you would be able to calculate those, especially if you were going to take a CMA exam, to be able to add those up. Um, so we could go through and use these uh, numbers and help us to do a better job of running our operations. So the objective of the TOC, or the Theory of Constraints, is to increase our throughput margin while decreasing investments and operating costs. So in other words, we're streamlining our operations in order to produce a higher net income. The Theory of Constraints focuses on managing bottleneck operations. There is no point in investing in, for example, uh, lots and lots of Coke bottles, lots and lots of pounds of sugar, lots and lots of food coloring that's going to just sit on the floor over there at the Coca-Cola plant waiting to go through that machine. We just saw earlier the carrying cost of inventory. All right, you guys should understand the carrying cost of inventory is implied here. If we make investments in items that are not able to be used, they are sitting there and they are idle because there is a bottleneck in our process, then we're wasting money. So everything has to be submissive to the bottleneck or you have got to find a way to increase that capacity of that bottleneck by optimizing that machinery somehow, making it able to fill those bottles much faster, or possibly even investing in another machine that can do the same amount of quantity. All right, so how can you work around the bottleneck or optimize that bottleneck? So there are four steps to managing the bottleneck operations. Recognize that there is a bottleneck, all right? And recognizing that the bottleneck operations determines the contribution margin of the entire system. We can only do so much because that bottleneck is stopping us from doing that. Identify what the bottleneck operations are. There could actually be more than one bottleneck at a facility. And then subordinate, or again, be submissive to the bottleneck operations. Take actions to increase the efficiency and capacity of the bottleneck operation. That is the only way that you are going to be able to increase your operating income or net income.